One of my favorite things to do is to expand my MIDI setup by sending MIDI over a network. Now I can use built-in RTP MIDI and use the audio MIDI setup that's built into a Mac to pass MIDI across computers on a network using only an ethernet cable. If you've ever seen this screen before on your computer, uh, then you're probably familiar with this. But this gets really powerful as soon as I add in a Play Audio One U because I'm no longer sending MIDI from one computer to another computer. Now I can have a fully redundant setup, computer A, computer B, and I can pass MIDI to that computer on the network. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to connect a Play Audio 1U to a network switch to network together multiple computers so that you can have a redundant MIDI setup when using RTP network MIDI. Now, it sounds a lot more complicated than it really is, but let's talk about what we need to make this happen. So first thing I have is my Play Audio 1U. This is racked up. I've got an A computer, B computer connected here. We're not gonna talk about the redundancy piece of this. I'm just gonna really simply show you the routing. The routing just kind of out of the box works for this and it's dead simple, which is great. So I have my Play Audio 1U and connected to my Play Audio 1U is a ethernet switch. So there's the other end of it. And if I flip this around, you can see that RTP MIDI port right there. That's where the other end of this is connected. Now, I also have um, a computer that's sitting off to the side here and that is connected to an ethernet cable and here's the other end of that cable. So. Play Audio 1U, and here is my computer with audio MIDI. And then finally, on my Playback A machine, I have an ethernet cable connected to it. Uh, and that's this computer sitting right here. So now let's network all of these computers together. This sounds, again, far more complicated than it really is. I'll show you how simple it is. We only need one more additional piece of gear, and that's called a network switch. So I'm using what's called an unmanaged network switch, which just simply means it's a box with inputs where you can connect multiple things together. They'll be networked together. There's no internet needed to make this happen. There's nothing else connected here, but let's get all our pieces of gear connected, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is connect my Play Audio 1U. We'll plug that in and you can see that's connected to my network switch. Second thing I'm gonna do is take my ethernet cable from my Playback A computer. We'll connect that in. And then we'll take our ethernet cable that goes to our other computer that's connected to our audio MIDI networking setup. Uh, and that's connected there, right? And that is running off stage about 30 feet away from this network switch. Now, again, seems far more complicated than it is, but let's go to our remote computer, the computer that we wanna pass MIDI to. And let's talk about the setup that we need to make with audio MIDI setup. So I'm gonna jump over here. And if you've never connected to this before, um, it, it's really dead simple to do. So let me actually uh, back you out of this. Let's start from scratch. Let's delete this network. Uh, and I'll show you completely from zero how to make this happen. Now, worth noting, I'm showing you how to do this on a Mac. We'll link to a couple Windows apps that once you install them, you'll be able to follow along do the same exact process. You just actually have to install an extra app if you're on a Windows machine. So jumping back over to our computer, I'm gonna use Spotlight to search for audio MIDI setup. I'm gonna go up here, and if you don't uh, see this open up to MIDI automatically, you wanna go to Window and you wanna do Show MIDI Studio. I'm already seeing MIDI Studio. But once you're seeing the MIDI Studio window, you wanna go to this menu item and jump down to Open MIDI Network Setup, okay? Now under My Sessions, I'm gonna press a plus if I've never created a session before. And I have two options here, local name and bonjour name. Local name is how this is gonna show up on my computer. So let's call this remote MIDI, okay? And then I'm gonna press tab to go to bonjour name and I'm gonna call this um, remote computer, okay? And we'll type that in just like that. Now I'm gonna click out of this. Final thing I need to do, who may connect to me? I'm gonna go down here and say anyone. Now, you can see these devices already network together. You see multiple Play Audio 1U ports showing up here, which is great. So this makes this really, really simple and easy to do, okay? So um, now let's go ahead and let's enable this connection. And one important thing, I wanna remember this name right here, remote computer. So uh, if you wanna click in uh, to copy this down to a, a notepad, write it down on a piece of paper, paper we, don't, we want to remember the name remote computer, okay? And you'll see why in just a second. So everything's connected. We've created a MIDI connection on our remote computer. Now let's talk about how to send MIDI from both of our playback machines to that connection. Okay, so let's start the setup and process over on our A computer. I have Oracle for X series, which is the free control software for my connectivity open. And I wanna click the RTP network MIDI tab. Now, as I go through here, you can see that we have 22 discrete 
MIDI ports that are possible to use uh, here. That means 22 individual connections to computers, to Mio XMs, Mio XLs, anything that's networked together. It's insanely, insanely powerful. Now, I would suggest to start with that you start on RTP5. Trust me on this, you'll see why in just a moment. What I wanna do under RTP5 here is choose Initiator. And then under this name box, I wanna type the name that we saw here. So that name right there, Remote Computer in our Bonjour name, I'm simply gonna just type that here, okay? So if you don't feel like a IT person, watch how simple and easy this is. Type Remote Computer, hit Save, and instantly you can see we've established a connection from RTP5 on our Play Audio 1U to our uh, remote MIDI setup here. And you can see, in fact, in the participants window, that is now showing up. Anyone can do that, right? Dead simple to make that happen. Now, we're done with Oracle for X-Series. That was a really easy setup to make happen. Our default MIDI routing is, is going to work in this case, but let's go ahead and just double check our MIDI routing to show you what's happening here. So let's jump back to Playback A computer. We're gonna go to our MIDI routing tab. And what I wanna see is USB DAW Jack A, RTP5. You can see on scene A, it's sending. If I jump to scene B, it's not gonna be sending. Now, I wanna show you the flip side of that, and then I'll talk about why that's really important. And the default routing works here, which is great. When I jump to USB DAW Jack B, RTP5, on scene B, it's sending, but on scene A, it's not. And that's the default. And the power of that is that means, yes, both of these computers can send MIDI to that remote computer, but only one computer at a time. So when we're on scene A and everything's working fine, it's gonna come from A computer. When we're on scene B and things fail, it's gonna come from the B computer, but it's not going to happen at the same time. We're not gonna get double MIDI notes, which is what some people do with their setup if they're not using a Play Audio 1U. So our MIDI routing is correct. Okay, so let's jump out of Oracle for X-Series and let's go into our DAW. Now, and we'll talk about MIDI routing. Now, in this particular case, I'm using Ableton Live, but any DAW that's MIDI compatible will work with the Play Audio 1U. Now, I'm gonna go into MIDI preferences here. Again, this is Ableton specific, link tempo and MIDI. I'm gonna scroll down to output ports. And you could see, remember when I said to use RTP5? RTP5 is our first RTP port that shows up in Ableton Live by default. I'm going to enable track on that, okay? Now, I'm gonna to go to one of my MIDI tracks here, do MIDI 2, and I'm gonna choose RTP5. Now, I also have the channel selector, so I can choose one of 16 channels to send MIDI on. By default, I'm just gonna leave this set to channel one. Okay, let's jump over to our B computer. Same exact thing, let's make our configuration happen. We'll go to preferences, command comma, link tempo and MIDI, and we're gonna scroll down till we see RTP5. We'll enable track on our output, and now we'll go to the same MIDI track as our, uh, our uh, computer A set. We're gonna choose RTP5 and have that set to channel one. So now the beauty and the power of this setup is I can press play, both of these computers are running simultaneously, and if I need to fail over from computer A to computer B, I can do that, and I'm gonna continue to send MIDI. So I've routed both of these computers to the same uh, RTP port, which is RTP5. And again, if I jump you over to this remote computer, you can see RTP5 is connected here. Now, final thing, um, what do we do over on our remote computer? Now, uh, I'm gonna open, let's open ProPresenter by default. That's a software that receives MIDI. And I'll show you how to enable that setup on that software. Now, obviously this is gonna change based on your software, but this is just an example of what we can do. So over on this machine, let's open up ProPresenter here. Let me give it just a second to open. I'm gonna go into ProPresenter's preferences, just like we did in Ableton. Let's go to devices. Again, this is ProPresenter specific, so bear with me, but you'll see exactly what we need to do here. Now I'll press this plus icon. I'm gonna choose MIDI. Uh, hardware, let's select our device, core MIDI device. And I'm looking for my input here, and you can see uh, for my input, we're gonna choose remote MIDI, which is that input that we set up earlier, right? Uh, and I can do some things like enable auto reconnect, but hit back uh, and uh, hit connect. And now that is connected. So in your software, what you wanna do is you wanna choose the name that's here, local name, remote MIDI. That's how it's gonna show up in your software. And by default, that Play Audio 1U again is only gonna send one computer at a time. Computer A, as long as everything's going fine. Computer B, as soon as there's an issue, we'll jump over to that. But your computer, uh, remote computer is only gonna receive one of those at a time dead simple, and now we have a fully redundant MIDI setup, even when we're using a existing RTP MIDI network. Now, we talked about a lot there. Uh, 
bookmark this video, go back and rewatch it if you need to. It's quite a few steps, but it's all very simple and any of us can make this happen. Now, if, while you're setting this up, if you have any issues, click the link in the description of this video to head to our knowledge base to see all the support articles that have been created there. And if you can't find a solution to your problem there, then you can create a support ticket and reach out to our support team who will be more than happy to help. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.